Hi folks. First, an announcement. Uh, a few days ago, Michael Vrazatoulis and I had a big discussion on the subject of atheism and metaphysics. It's on his channel and the link is directly below. It's about an hour and a half long, although when you go and click on the video you should fast forward to about 25 minutes in as we had some technical difficulties to work through before the discussion got underway. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, secondly, um, just kind of taking stock of things at the moment, um, contemplating potential change in direction. I'm not sure. Um, I find this is purely off the top of my head. I haven't planned this, but I find that I I'm struggling to make new videos. Um, a couple of times in recent months, I made a video or two purely because I wanted to make a video, not because I felt I had something to say. You see, for the past six or seven years, I have been sharing a journey with you all, and it was the journey of my own movement out of Christianity and atheism towards understanding, you know, non-duality, having that uh, non-dual perspective on the universe and how to how to integrate that into day-to-day -day, day -day living um, in a way that is not false, in a way that is realistic, because we live in a hostile universe. Something that not every non-dual teacher seems to face squarely. Anyway, it's been a journey of understanding for me. So as the new insights come to me, I share them with you. But I've been doing this a long time now. And it's starting to look as if the groundwork has all been laid. And this, is, this isn't leading up to some big announcement that I'm leaving YouTube. No, not at all. Don't worry about that. I just feel that um, I'm starting to lack new and interesting things to say that are not just merely repetition of things that I've already covered. So what I'm really trying to do here with this video is when you see that I'm not making videos for maybe a month, as what sometimes happens, you should look at my back catalogue. Um, sometimes I feel a little disheartened with YouTube in that, you know, I look at a video I put out maybe six months ago and I haven't managed to get maybe more than six or seven hundred views, even though I've got 8,000 subscribers. Um, it just goes to show you that the whole subscriber thing, you know, it doesn't really mean everything that it looks like it means. Um, by all appearances, it, it looks as if my my channel hasn't really been growing for years even though that subscriber count keeps growing but when i do look at the back catalog when i go way back in my videos ones that i have almost forgotten about have maybe accrued two or three thousand views and that's where i start to feel a lot better i start to feel that uh yeah what i'm doing is having at least some limited impact in people's lives and you know it really does my heart good when someone takes the time to write to me and says you know I've been watching your videos for a few years or when I see someone leave a whole string of comments over a period of several hours on really old videos and I realize here somebody has actually been sitting watching me for hours that uh, that makes me feel good because not because it strokes my ego, but because um, I'm trying to have some kind of positive effect on people's lives. So, um, I guess I'm just saying, you know, 
I've reached a point where I don't want to say I've learned everything I'm going to learn, but I'm not sure there's all that much around the corner in terms of really exciting insight. You know, I've looked into science, I've looked into Eastern philosophy, I've looked into Western philosophy, um, I've looked into parapsychology, regular psychology, uh, <laughs> uh, I've looked into occultism and magic. Um, are there many stones left to be unturned here? Uh, and even if there are, is there some big blinding insight that's going to hit me under one of those stones? Seems unlikely. I realized, you know, like when I'm reading, you know, I read the latest Brad Warner book there, uh, There Is No God and He Is Always With You. And, you know, it's a good book. It's a really good book, but a lot of it hits me as revision rather than learning new things. Yeah, I did learn some things from it, but a lot of it's like revision. I read a Deepak Chopra book some time ago and um, don't think I learned much of anything from it. Although if I'd read it maybe five years ago, it would have been a different experience. So there comes a point in a person's life where you've done your homework and now it's time to start living it. Now I've been living it. But what I mean is there's a time where the real test is whether you're just a spirituality addict who's always wanting to have that mental muscle stroked where you want to go wow <laughs> over something new or whether you're actually able to take your existing spirituality and integrate it into your life in a way that improves your life without needing to get a buzz from it all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, I've got this book, I Universe, coming out later this year, and I want to make a real success of it. So I think a lot of my, uh, my time is going to be devoted more to trying to and it's not that you know it's not that it's a product that i'm just trying to sell like a businessman um it's more that i want to try and reach more people and the book is a way to do that so i see myself hopefully being able to lecture in some capacity or other and I, i'm really not sure how to bring this about but having a legitimately published book gives me a kind of credibility uh, so it's going to be less about new material here on YouTube and more about talking about what I already know to a different audience I think <laughs> um, so if you're someone who has only been around on my channel for the past one year, maybe even two years, I want to encourage you to click on the videos link on my channel page and look way back to some of the things I was saying four years, five years ago. And yes, I've changed my mind about some things, but when I say something and I make a video about it, I generally don't like to revisit the same topic in the same way more than once. So it's important for you to go backwards. And I hope you will. Alright folks, take care.